Hello there people, this is indeed Bruce Be Cool or Nintendo Bruce here. Back again with another match on Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's Decade Jewels Plus. Uh, this one is a ranked one and it's probably not the best of my ideas. Uh, you guys have probably seen that my Decade Jewels Plus stuff has been slowing up. So I thought, alright, I've got to get another Decade Jewels Plus video out. Uh, let's create a new deck and oh my god. <laughs> But yeah, I created a new deck, um, only tried it out once against the computer, changed a few bits and have gone straight into a ranked match. Wow! Okay, saviour! Oh, look at this! Wow, 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 wow. Um, that might be the obvious scores play, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, anyway, this one is uh, takes a shiny to Junk Synchron. And it's, as you can see with the Inferno Reckless Summon, the idea with Junk Synchron is to special summon the monster out. And then, yeah, just go, well, crazy with it. You know, summon everything, bring out a big Synchro monster and just go from there, really. Now, what could this be? Could this actually... All oh, right, going to do the effect... Da or not effect damage, direct attack first. Yep, cool, cool. Now, I'm happy enough to blow up the Cyber Dragon with Raikko. Really hoping for another monster though. Really, really hoping for another monster. Oh, reinforcement of the army, that would be nice. Oh, Dandelion, thank you. And with Creature Swap, that can be nice. What a nice little hit there. Oh, what could he be playing? I, the only reason I ever see Spell Striker is with Monarch decks. Wow, you're going all out for those Dandelion tokens, eh? Oh, yep, look at this. It is a Monarch deck, so we'll see how this goes. Oh, Foolish Burial. Mm, not great. Not great. Not great at all. Uh, how many monsters in there? I think there's three, is there? Yeah, three of them. Let's have a little rummage in our deck. I can at least go for Plague Spreader if I really wanted to. Um, hmm. Plague Spreader is going to be the other, uh, obvious choice. I mean, if he's got Monster Reborn, fair enough, but I just really want to be able to uh, use Pot of Avarice and draw something decent, essentially. The main reason for Pot of Avarice in this deck is with the sheer amount of Synchro Summonings that could happen, and obviously bunging stuff into the extra deck is really decent. Hmm. But I'm not sure how this game is going to go. Really not sure. Oh, yeah, Dark Sea Rescue. Um, <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I should probably go bunging a lightning vortex of my own in here, I'll be honest. Ugh. Tell you what, we'll do the set. End it and see what happens. I mean, if he's got Caius, then fair play. But... Obviously, I'd prefer the monster to go into the graveyard so I can use Pot of Avarice. Oh, God! <laughs> Should have just creature swapped, really, shouldn't I? But the thing is, I didn't want to, you know, leave myself completely open. I think it's all practically reliant on this next draw now. That was a really shoddy starting hand, just all spells. <laughs> Okay, right. Wow, if only I'd held on to that deep, uh, Dark Sea Rescue, eh? But saying that... You guys know what I'm gonna do. You guys know what I'm gonna do, just period. Uh, let's put Inferno Reckless Summon on. Even less chance of using Pot of Avarice now. Oh, well, we'll see if we could do something. We'll see if we could do something. Oh, bit of treeborn action there. I'd like him to summon another monarch. I'd really, really like him to summon another monarch. Yep, here we go. Oh. When a spell shall uh, destroy a monster in the field, you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard and negate the activation and destroy it. 
I am dead this game, people. I am dead this game. No biggie, because that was just a really, really rubbish uh, draw that I've had. To be honest with you, I haven't really bunged anything into my extra deck. I've put uh, Pineapple Blast, which uh, I really wanted to be a unique card for this deck, but it's just not working out. It definitely won't work out against a, a Monarch deck, which is really slow. It's mainly for Swarmer decks, and for those of you that don't know what Pineapple Blast does, because when you normal summon, you then um, basically reveal it, you blow up as many monsters as possible, but that's a silly explanation, sorry. So basically, pretend you've only got Junk Synchron, you summon it. You've only got one monster, so that means your opponent can only be left with one monster. Uh, and your opponent gets to choose which one monster that is left. And then on top of that, you can usually creature swap and do all sorts of silly little things. Of oh, course, this one's a bit better now, isn't it? Oh, we actually have monsters. How about that, folks, eh? Okay, I'm liking this hand a lot better. A lot better. However, let's see what this guy can do. He might be able to just monarch crazy straight off the bat. What's he going to go for? Never know monarch decks to really play gold sarcophagus. Foolish Burial. Probably to try and get that tree born in the grave straight away. Level Warrior. Can also summon this card that's a level 2 monster. If your opponent controls a monster and you control a monster, this doesn't matter. Oh god, that Caius! God damn that Caius. But still, at least I'll be able to get a, an easy Gauze out. Very easy Gauze. And having a 2400 token ain't too shabby either. Uh, we'll have it in attack mode, why not? I might just whack it in defence. Uh, we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens. Any sets? No, no sets. Okay, that looks good for me. Oh, and Card Trooper as well. That milling action is going to be nice. And let's see if we can mill a monster into the grave. Yep, level tuner, perfect. Is that level tuner? Tuning wear, sorry. What the hell is level tuner? That's not even a card, is it? Oh well, whatever. Okay, now let's see what happens if we attack the car trooper first. I want to see if anything can activate in his hand. Nope, nothing can activate in his hand. That's good. I know that sounds a bit cheeky seeing if something can activate in the hand, but it's what you do with computer games. It really is. Okay, end phase. I can't get Foolish Burial yet, which is good. And I'm hoping his hand is full of junk, really. Nope, Cyber Dragon, so there is going to be a little something. He's got to have a Monarch, surely. Or maybe not? Oh no, there we go, Monarch. Riser. Probably, yeah, more than likely going to go for Gauze. Although this is no skin off of my nose. Uh, three. I'm just thinking in this game you can only have 10 stars as the highest synchro, which is a shame. Oh, look at that, of course. How about that? Oh, really wanted an Inferno Reckless summon then. It's no biggie though, it's no biggie. Now, can I finish? That is the question. Um... I think I can finish. I think I can finish with Armory Arm. So 24, that makes it 34, and then it's a complete 3400 damage. So yeah, that's perfect. And then I'll get the extra draw as well, which is nice. Just in case he has something, but highly unlikely. Okay. Beautiful. Reinforcement of the army. You know what? I'm not going to bother searching because if this is game, then 
you know, what, why the hell should I be an idiot about it? <laughs> okay. A thousand, and then the rest of the attack. Beautiful. So that's one apiece. See, when you get a decent hand with this deck, it's not so bad at all. Cool, let's see what happens in the next game though. It's all about this. One apiece at the moment. And I'm definitely not fond of him going first, having that either token or um, easy special summon. Um, yeah, not that fond. We'll see what we get though. See what we get. The thing is, he doesn't seem to have any uh, traps either. Oh god, here we go again. Now, the question is. Should I actually play anything? Oh, just trying to think here whether to do Tinker of my own special summon, normal. Um, yeah, screw it. We're safe doing the right code at least. We're safe doing the right code. Thinking of hanging on to my cards. I mean, he's always got a Caius, <laughs> so no doubt he's going to banish this somehow. Yep, level warrior. Oh, Soul Exchange, really? Okay, I'm not too fussed with that. Because so I can still Junk Synchron it out. Jinzo, again, no biggie off my... Hold on, Jinzo? The Monarch? The... Yeah, whatever. It goes, I guess it goes. Okay, Monster of Warn as well. This is going to look good. Uh, 8, I could bring out a 10 star if I really wanted to. But I think that would be silly at this moment in time. Uh, what would it be? Just thinking, decisive armor, that's only for light monsters, isn't it? And then I've got a discarded card as well, which I'm not too fond of. Um, da 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 da! I want to turn if your opponent controls face up to light monster, you can activate one of these effects. So one set card, your opponent controls, destroy it. Send one card from your hand to the graveyard, destroy it, blah, 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 blah. Send all cards in your hand to the graveyard to look at your opponent's hand and send all light monsters in their hand to the graveyard. Then flip damage you can do. See, that would be nice, but. Uh, warrior, that is indeed a light. But there really is no point. There's no point. Um, actually, Thought Ruler Archfiend could be quite good because I can't be targeted, can I? Spell trap card that targets that one to ah spell and trap. Okay, no worries. Um, we shall go for. I think Stardust is actually going to be the best there. Unless he happens to have Caius, then fair enough. Oh, guys, the thinking, the thinking. Actually, no. You know what? I don't want to give him an extra monster on the field. So let's stick with the good old Ally of Justice Catasta. Actually, I can't do anything there, can I? I'm an idiot. Jinzo is indeed a dark monster. <sighs> Hate using Monster Reborn prematurely, but... You know what? Whatever. Whatever. This will still end up being fairly decent anyway, because he's got no monsters on the uh, on the field after this. Um, Stardust or Thought Ruler Archfiend? I'll go for Stardust because he does have lightning. No! Uh, no! No! Oh, wrong! Ah, rubbish! You know what, guys? Whatever. I just went A button crazy there. A button crazy. See, this is what happens when you don't play a game for a good little while. Okay. So sure, I can't do as much damage, but you know what? Maybe having Ally of Justice Catasta out is better. Oh, Trigodia. Yeah, Trigodia there. Hmm. Get rid of the Trigodia. Okay. End phase. See what happens, see what happens. Um, hmm. He 
yeah. I'm going to save Stardust because then at least I know Stardust can pop out and be higher than any of the monsters he tribute summons out. So even if I take damage this turn, it's not going to be bad. It's not going to be bad. And he's going to think this is really important now. Oh, God. God damn it, guys. He, was, he planned it. He planned it all along. Oh, nice one. Saying that, though, target one face-up synchro monster. At least I can desynchro uh, and get my beasties back. Fair play to you. Fair play. That's all I'm going to say. Ooh, Riser. That's fine, because I don't mind the draw. I would have hated it if he'd have set my MST up, actually. Because then that would have been a dead draw. But no, this is good, guys. This is good. Very, very close game. This guy knows what he's doing, that's for certain. Okay, Mirror Force, that's not so bad either. Okay, right. Card. Nope, I'm good. Ah, then if all the other monsters that were used for the synchro summon of that monster. Damn. And I still can't play that either. That's bad, that's bad. And I've only got three monsters, wow. What's with the monster to spell and trap ratio? Okay. Hopefully, if he tributes, uh, I'm going to take the damage, guys. I'm going to take the damage. Okay, what do we draw? Giant Trinade. Wow, three times I've drawn that and three times it's pants. That's crazy. Really, really crazy. Okay, it's going to be that Mirror Force, that's for certain. Okay, Tuning Wear. Not amazing. Problem with this deck is there are quite a few weak monsters, uh, which do slow it down a bit. Oh, Soul Exchange. That's no biggie as long as the next monster is good. That I draw anyway. It's got to be Junk Sync one, really. And even then, what can I get with it? Hmm. Dark Sea Rescue! <laughs> um, right, set that. Set you. This is not looking good, guys. This is not looking good. But you know what? This is a good game, though. Very good game. Uh, and another Kaius, and that's me done for. Oh dear, guys. Oh dear, indeed. Well, that's pants for me. That's pants for me. Um, would I have done something different if I'd have known Desynchro didn't get the monsters out of my graveyard? More than likely. Um, and that thing of protecting my MST. You know what? That, that had swings and roundabouts, because Stardust could have been flung back to the... Uh, um, to the extra deck and Allied Justice or Cat uh, Catastrophe could have been destroyed if he had a Caius, but don't know, don't know. That was a good game though, Lord Mataku. I think that's pronounced anyway. So, what did you guys think? Uh, should I spend a bit more time on this deck? I think I should. Um, but you know what? The first draw was pants. There's nothing I can do about that. So, as always, guys, pop your thoughts and comments in the section below. Let me know how you feel about it all. Until next time, you guys take care, and I will see you again very soon.